A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. The Lone Ranger and his Indian companion, Tonto, had been riding the trail since dawn. The day had been hot and sultry, and as afternoon drew to a close, they were hot and thirsty with canteens that had been empty since noon. The horses moved along at a lazy gait while the two men talked. We should reach the town of Rockton before long, Tonto. We not find place to pitch camp first, Kimasabi? No. I have a message for the sheriff there from the marshal in Waco. Look, Kimasabi. Yes? Over there. Maybe we get water there. Looks like a prospector's cabin. Go right over there and fill our canteens. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Stout. Oh, Silver. Oh, who's got open, eh? Steady, big fella. Maybe I'm not here now. Seems that way. You think we find water inside? Maybe... I don't like to go in when he's not here, but the door's not locked. Mm. You see water bucket over oh, there. Wait, Tonto. Don't go in. No, me not savvy at... Oh, yeah. Me see now. Man lying on the floor. Yes, looks as though he's dead. Guess we'll go in after all and make sure... Been stabbed. Look, Kimasabi. Can still have gun hooked out a finger. Yes. Hasn't been fired. I don't see how that. Hello. The only way this could have happened was by someone who's an expert at throwing a knife. Someone who threw it faster than this man could draw his gun. That's right. Well, there's nothing around here to indicate who might have done this. Let's look around outside. Sabi. Yes, the footprints. There. Yeah. Footprints of woman. So I see. How fresh do they seem to be to you, Toto? Well, me think the maid not very long ago. Woman mount horse here. Go that way. They lead back onto the trail we just left. Isn't that right? We'll try to follow them. We'll tell the sheriff what we found and have him take the coroner out and investigate. Easy, steady, big fellow. Uh, one, two, and I'm off town. The 
Before riding into Rockton, the Lone Ranger disguised himself as a cowhand. Just as he and Tonto headed into town, a late afternoon storm broke. Look! Their jailhouse just ahead! Yes. Sheriff's office is there. Hurry out of this rain, Toto. Well, what can I do for you, stranger? That Indian been up to something? Uh, just a moment, Sheriff. You are Sheriff Martin, aren't you? That's right, but I don't know you. We've just come in from Waco. I uh, brought you this letter from the marshal there here. Oh, so that's it. Thanks very much, mister. You're welcome. Excuse me while I read it. Of course. Just a note to say I can stop hunting for an outlaw who held up our bank a while ago. He was shot by a posse over near Waco. Oh. Well, now, Sheriff, I want to report a murder. Murder, you say? That's right. Coming along the trail about five or six miles from here, we went to what seemed to be a prospector's cabin for water. Hmm, let's see. If you come in from down Waco way, that'd be on the south trail. Yes, that's right. Reckon that cabin is Jerry Wells' place. He's an old-timer. Kind of gray hair, kind of long. Black eyebrows. Mm, that him? He'd uh, been stabbed with a knife over the heart. The knife was gone. I see. Well, I'll get the corner and go right on out there. Yeah, I don't know who you are, stranger. Of course, you brought that letter. The marshal said this would identify me, Sheriff. Here. A bullet. I don't see... Hmm... Well, this is a silver bullet. Then you must be the Lone Ranger. That's right. Well, I'll be doggone. But I heard you always wore a mask. I prefer to use a disguise coming into a town, Sheriff. I see what you mean. Would be kind of risky. Uh, Did you find any clues out around Jerry's place? We found something that may narrow down the hunt. I believe the killer threw the knife. The coroner can verify that when he sees the wound. Also, we found footprints freshly made, leading into and away from the cabin. Footprints, eh? Yes. Well, that's still going to be hard to... Footprints of a woman, Sheriff. A woman, you say? Eh. Well, that does narrow it down. Not many women around here. If I get a look at those footprints, I'll be... footprints not there now. You hear storm outside? It washed away footprints. Say, that's right. That's right. Won't be any footprints by this time. Well, thanks for bringing the letter. I'll get over and get the corner so we can head out to Jerry's cabin. If I can be of any help, let me know, Sheriff. All right, let's go, Toto. Adios. Adios. The Lone Ranger and Toto went into the nearby hills and pitched camp. The following day, Tonto rode to the sheriff's office with a note from the Lone Ranger telling where they were located in case they were needed. It was afternoon when Tonto returned. Oh, scout, oh, fella. Oh, fella. Oh. <coughs> Kimasabi, me bring news. Oh, what's happened? Well, Hello. me go to sheriff's office. Him not there. Me wait. Yes? About noon, him come back with deputy. Then bring young fella. Oh? Me listen in office while them talk to young fella. Now, listen to me, Jim Carson. You might as well own up that you killed Jerry Wells yesterday. Made off with his gold pouch. We got it all figured out anyway. But I keep telling you, Sheriff, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't. That's what you say, but we know different. Here's the facts. You come riding into town last night, went to the cafe, invited everybody to have a treat on you with you footing the bill. We know you get only a small salary working at the Bar H. I told you I went to the carnival over at Spencer yesterday and won that money. Jerry Wells went to the carnival, too. He was showing a lot of gold around, and he left early. You must have followed him home and jumped him in his cabin. No. No, I didn't. What about the knife you were showing around last night when you were feeling kind of gay? I... I found that knife along the trail. Honest, Sheriff, would I be showing it around if I'd used it to kill somebody? Maybe yes, and maybe no. Uh, There's another point, too. You wear a small-sized boot. We was told a woman's footprints were seen outside the cabin. Party who saw those prints could have mistaken your footprints for a woman's. Eh. All ties in, Carson. We're going to hold you as a murder suspect. No. No, I didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't, I tell you, Sheriff. Oh, them take, young fella. 
Back to jail and put him in cell. Him plenty upset. Toto, no man could have feet small enough to fit those footprints. They were definitely the prints from a woman's shoe. That's right. Me tell Sheriff prints plenty small. Him say, maybe we think them smaller than they were. Too bad that storm came up before he had a chance to see for himself. Evidently, the killer threw away the knife on the way back to the carnival. Oh, the carnival. Tonto, maybe we could find the answer there. Ah, we go to carnival, maybe. Yes, Tonto, we leave right now. Here, Silver. The only way to help young Carson is to find the killer. We know we're hunting for a woman, so that's a help. Steady, Silver. Easy, big fella. One, two, three, up. Later that afternoon, the Lone Ranger, still in his disguise as a call hand, walked slowly along the midway of the carnival with Tonto. Well, there are several women with this carnival, Tonto. Don't know just where to start looking for the... Wait a minute. For ten cents, one small dime, folks, you can come inside right now and see Lola. Lola, the gypsy queen. Yes, folks, see this beautiful young woman from the gypsy camps of Europe. Actually pinned a man to the wall with knives thrown from 12 feet away. The show starts in one minute. Wait, wait, come in. Sure, sure, Cole. Go right ahead. I know that man, Cole, Toto. You recognize him? Ah, you saved his life near Austin a year ago. Woman who throw knife. Maybe she's not... Oh, wait. Wait a minute, Toto. I'm sorry to announce that the beautiful Lola will not be able to perform this afternoon. However, she will appear on the platform inside with her display of knives and will give an entertaining and instructive talk on how she uses them. Also, a small prize will be given to each and every person who pays a ten cents admission. Just to see this beautiful gypsy queen is worth far more than the price of admission. Now, step right up, folks. Get your tickets here. Step right up. Come on, Toto. We'll go in. One tenth of a dollar. Step right up, folks. Here you are, sir. Here you are. Step right up, folks. And here Lola tell you how she throws through the side. The Lone Ranger and Toto bought tickets and went into the tent. They stood on the edge of the crowd that surrounded the small platform upon which Lola waited to start her act. The Lone Ranger silently observed the bespangled figure of the sharp-featured, black-eyed gypsy girl on the platform. His steady gaze drew her attention. Finally, she turned away. But the Lone Ranger continued to stare, for her right arm was carried in a sling. He spoke to Tonto in a low tone. Notice her right arm, Tonto. Ah, me see it. She not able to throw knife. It may not have been hurt yesterday. Here comes her boss, Cole. All right, folks, here she is. The incomparable Lola. Now, unfortunately, Lola fell yesterday morning and injured her throwing arm. So she can't perform for you. But she will speak to you and show you the knife she uses. And now the beautiful gypsy queen, Lola. Lola, she is so sorry to have hurt the arm. But for all of you, I show you the knife. See, I remove the cloth covering from this velvet-covered board. And there they are. The gleaming knives held there in the loop. Look, Toto, the bottom loop is empty. One of the knives is missing. Maybe some other woman steal knife. No, no. I feel sure Lola's the one we're hunting. The main thing now is to prove it. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. In spite of Lola's sling and the alibi given by Cole that she had been hurt the morning before, the Lone Ranger felt certain that somehow the gypsy girl had killed the old prospector. Leaving the tent, he and Tonto went to the place outside the carnival grounds where they had left their horses. We'll ride back to town and talk to the sheriff, Tonto. Also, I'd like a word with that young man they put in jail for the murder. Ah, maybe sheriff able to get truth from girl and Cole. But if girl really have arm and sling since yesterday morning... And one thing I noticed in that connection, Toto. Mm, what's that? The barker outside the tent didn't know about that arm injury until Cole came along and took over. Seems to me if the girl hadn't been doing her act yesterday afternoon and last night, that barker would have known about it. Well, that's right. These carnival people stick close together. It would be hard to get any answers from the barker. At least we give the sheriff a chance to do the questioning first. Easy, Silver. Steady, big fella. One fill there. Oh, stop. It was late afternoon when the Lone Ranger and Tonto entered the sheriff's office. Howdy. Glad to see you still around. Thanks, Sheriff. I uh, understand you've arrested a young fellow for Wells' murder. That's right. We feel plenty sure he did it, too. I don't agree with you. What makes you say that? The footprints we saw yesterday were definitely a woman, Sheriff. We just came from the carnival grounds at Spencer. There's a woman there who I... Oh, (laughs) I got the jump on you on that one, mister. We went over there this morning. Oh? Yeah. We heard about a woman knife thrower, so we had a talk with her. See? Found out she never left the carnival. Had an injured arm and was wearing a sling. I see. Her boss, a man named Cole, gave her a good, tight alibi. What's more, we found out somebody stole one of her knives, too. Young Jim Carson was at that carnival till late yesterday. And he had a knife, one just like the lost one. <laughs> it all ties in. Could I have a word with Carson, Sheriff? Well, I... You can listen to what we say. Well, all right. Come along, I'll take you to his cell. Fine, thanks. That's his cell right there. Hey, Carson. Huh? We want to talk to you. Well, what do you want? Who's that hombre with you? Perhaps I'm a friend, Carson. Will you answer a question or two? Sure. Why not? What do you want to know, mister? You were at the carnival rather late yesterday, weren't you? That's right, I was. I got back to town here just as the storm broke. See there? That was just the time you came in and reported the murder, mister. You must have been right behind Carson here all the way in from Jerry Wells' place. I wasn't anywhere near Wells' cabin, I tell you. If this hombre says he trailed me from there to here, then he lies. Take it easy, Jim. Take it easy. I haven't said that. In fact, I believe you've told the truth about yourself. Yeah. You do. That don't mean a thing to me, Carson. I know this man's reliable, but we got the facts against him. No. No, you haven't. I didn't do it. Perhaps you can help us find out who did, Jim. Now, wait a minute. You want to see justice done, don't you, Sheriff? Of course I do, but when you... Then, if there's any doubt, it's your duty to check on it closely. Sure. If you can show me... Hold on. Hold on a minute. Jim, did you notice whether that gypsy girl put on her act yesterday afternoon? I... I won't answer that. You're trying to trick me. Believe me, I'm trying to help you. Now, will you answer my question? Well, I... I went into that tent and saw a throw of knives yesterday afternoon. Ah, You admit you went into the tent. Good work, mister. We couldn't get him to admit he went near her place. I knew this was a put-up job. Wait, wait. Sheriff, didn't you tell me that woman had her arm in a sling yesterday so she couldn't have thrown a knife? Either in her act or at Jerry Wells. Yes. I think she's faking that injury. I think the man Cole, her boss, lied to you. She could have spotted Wells' gold and followed him. I believe she did. The footprints we saw point to that. Well, now, if they did lie to me, and if she is faking that injury... I have a plan that may prove all that. (coughs) Will, uh, will you meet Tonto and me at the carnival tonight and help? All right, me and a couple of deputies will meet you there. Say, do you really think something can be done, mister? We'll do our best, Jim. Adios. The Lone Ranger and Tonto returned to their camp where they ate a light supper. Then the Lone Ranger removed the cowboy disguise he had been wearing. 
We'll leave now, Tonto. We'll reach the carnival so as to be there and then get ready to close for the night. Ah. You think plan worked, Kimasabi? Mm, there's a good chance. All right, my mask, Tonto, oh, please. Here. Here, mask. Oh, thanks. I hope the sheriff keeps his word. Oh, here, guns and belt. Thanks, thanks again. <laughs> My plan depends upon the fact that the sheriff actually sees and hears what takes place. Here, Silver. I'm scout. We tighten up sent you. Good idea, Silly Silver. Easy. There, Silver. There. That's there, Silver. All right, let's go, Silver. Come on, come on. Silver. Get him up, scout. <laughs> A small group of onlookers had just left the tent of the gypsy woman, Lola, when her boss, Cole, entered. That's all for tonight, Lola. I'll help you to carry the knife boards to your quarters. Oh, good. I will hand the board to you. We will have to replace that missing knife, Cole. Here. Take it. Do not let any of the knives drop out. Yeah, I have it. Get down from there now and come on to your own tent. All right. Now, look, Lola, having that sling on your arm is affecting business. People don't want to just look at you. They want to see you throw knives at somebody. That is too bad, Cole, but it cannot be held. I'll be glad to leave here. I don't like the law coming around asking all those questions. (laughs) Oh, Cole, you are too much of a one to worry about nothing. Always we are questioned by the law about lots of things, huh? It is part of the carnival life. Yeah, sure. But this is different, Lola. You know it. Different? <laughs> Already they have catch a man who have my missing knife. They say he is the one who killed the old man. So they will not bother us again. Here is my thing. Put the knife board over there by my cot, Cole. All right. There, so, I am very tired. Those staring, smirking cowboys. They have begun to get on my nerves. We'll be pulling out of here in the morning for a new location. There was no money around here. <laughs> but maybe it was more to our profit than you think, huh? I can readily believe that, oh, Lola. Look, it is a mass man with a gun. Well, I'll be... You. Yes, Cole. My business is with Lola. Do not let him come in here like this, Cole. Draw your gun. No, no, Lola. He's got the drop on us. I've met him before. I've seen him in action. Cole, you gave an alibi for Lola. It was not true. Yes. Yes, it was. She hurt her arm yesterday. It's been in that sling. She was here with me all afternoon. You realize the young fellow is charged with that murder, Cole? So, you would try to pin that murder on me? <laughs> But I could not throw that knife. I have been here all the time. Now go and leave us alone. I am not afraid of you. I am tired. I will rest. I'm convinced you have the old man's gold hidden in this tent. I'm going to find it. While I search, I'll have you both covered. And if necessary, I'll use this gun. Cole, you are a fool! Do not let this thief search my tent. Well, I can't stop him, Lola. This masked man has come saying these things only as an excuse to rob us. Have it your way. I'm going to search that small trunk there right now. You're helpless and Cole is covered by my gun. Stay right there, Cole. Stay away from that trunk. I warn you. Your warning doesn't mean anything. As the Lone Ranger stooped to open the trunk, he seemingly took his eyes off Lola for the moment. Quickly, she slid her arm from the sling and reached behind her to the board which held the knives. In an instant, a knife was in her hand, and with blazing fury in her eyes, she raised it for the throw. Lola, no! Helpless am I! Look out! Oh, he jumped in front of you. He took the knife you meant for me. Don't move, Lola. You are to blame. I will throw another and kill you. No, you won't. The knife. It went from my hand. Better, man. Sure thing, Sheriff. No! No, let me out of his tent. I got her. Me, don't you? Let me go. Oh, please. My hurt. Never mind putting on an act. We saw and heard everything. You haven't got a sore arm. I'll see about Cole. Cole. Cole, can you speak? Uh, 
I'm done for. You are a fool, my friend. It was your own fault for jumping in front of that masked man who was trying to rob me. <sighs> Why did you do it? Why? Once he saved my life. I couldn't stand by, let you kill him. I was expecting that knife, Cole, so I was ready for it. But I didn't expect you to step in front of it. I appreciate what you did. Tell me, the alibi you gave for Lola, what about it? Hold your tongue, Cole. You told him the truth. No. I'm dying. I lied to save Lola. She's a devil. But I sort of liked her. Go on, fella. She left here yesterday afternoon. Gone a couple of hours. I was taken to Barker's place at the time, so he didn't know. The arm injury was a fake. That clinches it. She's the one who killed Jerry Well. No! No, you cannot prove that! The old man's gold. She hid it in in the trunk there. Ah, I am glad the knife hit you. You are a double crosser, a traitor. They will not hang a woman. But you are dying now. No, Cole, you won't die. We'll get you to a doctor, and I'm sure you'll recover. I saw old Doc Willow at the carnival. He's still out there somewhere. Go get him, one of you men. I'll get him right away, Sheriff. Yeah. Tuttle and I'll leave now, Sheriff. We'll go ahead and tell young Carson the good news. Come along, Tuttle. Uh-huh. See you in town, Sheriff. Adios. That mask man, why is he allowed to walk away? Why is a mask man helping the law? <laughs> I thought gypsy women were supposed to know all, see all, and tell all. Like the other one down the midway. <clears throat> she is only a fortune teller. But I, I am the great Lola, expert knife thrower. <laughs> yeah, but you threw your last knife, lady, thanks to the Lone Ranger. Oh, 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 oh. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank you.